Most people enter this space because they like design or there's some web developer that knows how to code. But what they don't realize is all the ups and downs that come with this business. Look, I'll be honest, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. One of the hardest parts of this business is getting clients. But the good news is that once you actually get good at this skill, you only have to get good one time and then you will be set for life. You will never need to go get some shit job that you absolutely hate. You'll never be working at McDonald's cleaning up other people's poop. In your worst case scenario will be someone else's best case scenario. So you can't lose. In fact, there's two main outcomes that will come from you learning this skill. Best case scenario is you are going to have a six figure or multi six figure per year web design business that'll be collecting recurring payments from your clients. So you'll only need to put in a couple hours a week if you so choose or absolute worst case scenario. You get really good at this skill and you just decide that the business model is not for you. So what you could do is go get a high paying web design job and sit in a nice air conditioned office, or even now there's so many remote jobs and you can still travel the world if you want while building websites and focusing on design. And even if you don't want to be in this space, even if you don't like web design after you learned it, or you decided it's just not something you want to do long term, that's fine as well. Any industry or any job that you might get will value these skills that you are learning because all businesses have some online element or have some component or section of their company that you can help with because you understand the internet space. In fact, I grew up on government aid. It was just me, my single mom, my little sister, and we had no connections. We came here on refugee status when I was younger. In fact, I remember buying a $6 foot long sandwich from Subway and dividing it in half and then going to the store and buying broccoli and boiling that broccoli and having the first half of the sub with broccoli on the side for my lunch and then having the second half with broccoli for dinner because when I did the math, I realized that was the cheapest slash healthiest way of getting full. I didn't have any other option. I had to make this work. I hated school. I was taking web design courses in my college and they couldn't teach me anything of value that I couldn't learn on YouTube in a couple hours of searching. It was a complete waste of time. Not to mention I had a job that I hated. I was washing other people's dishes for a freaking peasant's wage. And here I was this young, healthy male completely wasting my potential. However, once I dedicated myself and I overcame all the challenges of this business, life was amazing. I had anything and everything I wanted. I sold everything. I moved out of my hometown where it rains and snows so much. I moved down south. I wanted to live by the beach and I was living out of Airbnbs. Every time I went to restaurants, I stopped looking at the prices on the menu items. I started even paying my mom a salary every single month. And I suggest you always take care of those around you first before you start buying any of these luxury things. But honestly, your life will change the most when you go from zero to $10,000 per month. That's where everything opens up in the world. Your friends respect you. Your family respects you. You no longer care about prices or what's expensive, what's not that expensive. And you can pretty much do anywhere or go anywhere you want within reason. Going from 10 to 20 or $30,000 per month didn't really give me that much added lifestyle. All you're doing now is maybe you're flying first class, you're paying your mom a higher salary, you're just living slightly more extravagant, which might make you a little bit happier, but it's not that drastic lifestyle change that you'll experience from zero to 10,000 per month. And I'm saying all this to motivate you because there will be challenges and you will have to overcome those challenges. You're going to face rejection. You're going to face clients telling you no, you're going to feel stuck. But trust me, you have to push past it because it's so worth it. You have to understand that if it was easy, then everybody would do it. There has to be some challenge. Here's a realistic view of what might happen. 
you're going to start learning web design. You're going to go into this space. You'll learn about designs and you'll learn about the technical details of maybe how to build a website. And then you're going to go out to the market and you're going to try to start getting clients and you're going to start facing rejection, probably more rejection than you've ever faced in your life. And maybe you'll even land some clients, but they're not going to pay you that life changing money that you want. And the biggest thing with this is you need to understand that you are going through the hardest part. In the beginning, it is the most painful thing ever. But once you get good at it, and once you start to overcome these mental battles of picking up the phone or maybe sending a bunch of DMs, and once you get past that hurdle, it gets much easier and it's smoother sailing. Now, if you're smart, you want to introduce a monthly recurring package with your web design. Don't just charge people a one-time fee. You want to build a long-term business. And if you do that, you'll always have money and all of your effort won't go wasted because you'll start getting clients that are accumulating month in and month out. And then before you know it, you're making thousands of dollars per month. And this is relatively passive because people are paying you for hosting or they're paying for different automations that you set up one time. And of course, sometimes there will be changes, but it's not going to be that often. Or if you need money coming in today, then maybe it makes sense for you to go get a web design job, work in an air conditioned office, save money, and then grind away before work and after work and work on weekends, building your freelance business. This is also what I did. That's why I focus so much on sales on my channel. And I have people messaging me, they're landing new clients every single week, multiple clients per week. It's actually insane. And no one else is going as in depth as I am showing live sales calls, showing live cold calls, breaking down my entire business, because this stuff is hard. And a lot of people skip it as if it's not the hardest thing in this business. But look, knowing all of that, this is still one of the best business models that I have ever seen. If you think about it, there are people out there investing in real estate. They're putting in a hundred, two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars into a property, and then they're happy when that property makes them a thousand dollars per month in profit. Now you could go out and build 10 freaking websites. Not only are you going to get paid upfront thousands of dollars for your website, but let's say it's a very cheap client and all you're doing is building them some copy paste website and they're just paying a hundred dollars per month for hosting. Those 10 clients are making you the same amount of profit, $1,000 per month as the real estate investor that put in hundreds of thousands of dollars. And if you're thinking that's not going to be passive because I have to swap photos or write content, then you would be wrong. First thing is you have chat GPT. If someone doesn't pay you thousands, you can just use that for content as well as for any technical changes. You can hire someone overseas and pay them $4 per hour to make any of these technical changes for you. Now, here's the best part about this business. If you build it the right way, you're going to have so many of these reoccurring clients that they'll eventually be paying you a full-time income. So in the future, if you no longer want to bring on new web design projects, or maybe you just want to go work on something else, maybe you want to go become a salsa dance teacher or yoga instructor, and you just don't want to focus on business and making money online anymore, that's fine. You're still going to have so many clients paying you every single month for services that you already delivered. And we're not even talking about the different automation services and like go high level services that you can offer. And instead of charging 100 a month, you could charge $300 a month. And so now in the future, you can leverage and piggyback off of your past effort and take six months off and travel. Enjoy the time for yourself. You can have an early retirement if you'd like. I want you to go and explain this business model to a roofer or go explain that to a plumber who, by the way, probably invested hundreds of thousands of dollars into a truck, into equipment to do their job. Plus, they spend hours and hours standing on a roof in the hot sun. And then maybe, maybe a couple years in, they're profitable and they can actually make some money and pay themselves, let alone talking about some vacation where they can take time off and have it be relatively passive. No, they're tied to their location and they're tied to this business. We don't have any other risk but we have all of the upside. And by the way, I personally also tried to retire. In 2022, I moved to Mexico and I was living and traveling all around Mexico and I ended up on a beach and I stayed there for a couple months and I got so bored. There's only so many pina coladas you can drink. There's only so many times you can surf. There's only so many things you can really do. I'm telling you, you might just find yourself bored, come out of retirement and then go work on something else. So the biggest, the biggest thing about this 
is you have nothing to lose. Dude, best case scenario, you build a business that you love. Worst case scenario, you have a badass resume of projects that you've built, of skills that you've accumulated that are modern skills that everyone wants in this day and age. And you'll be far ahead of all the people that went to college and all they have is a degree because you have a portfolio. You have real tangible results that people can see and they'll be way more likely to hire you.